that's how it is and that's how it goes. <laughs> E aí galera, meu nome é bem-vindos a mais um vídeo de The Witcher 2 Assassin of Kings A gente tá aqui numa emboscada que fizeram pra gente é, A gente tá indo atrás da atriz, mas a galera não quer deixar a gente liberar a atriz Então vamos tentar sair dessa emboscada primeiro aqui Ai, eu odeio magos O único mago que podia ter ser era, era eu, né mano? Ah, esse cara tá jogando na besta aqui. O idiota ali tá pisando na fogueira, mano. Cara, a armadura desse exército é muito louca. Opa, tô tomando muito dano, hein. Nossa, eu vou no feiticeiro, velho. Eu não sei o que ele faz, velho. Todos os feiticeiros são assim, isso, velho. Beleza. Agora é só tomar cuidado e enfrentar um de cada vez. Beleza. Agora o cara tá vindo, mas. Deixa eu primeiro matar esse. Isso, agora já era. Renaud é isso. Madsen. Olha o nome do cara. Ó, 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 galera, ó. Parece um shinobi aqui, mano. Olha. Era, fi. Pega a chave e liberte a atriz. Pego. Só que eu tô carregando muito peso. A negociadora. Isso aqui é uma espada de prata? É, a gente vai deixar ela no chão aí, então. Mesmo assim, eu tô carregando muito peso. Vamos ver essa armadura aqui. Ela é melhor que a minha. Já pode trocar aí, já. Uh, calça. Melhor que a minha. Sei lá se é melhor também. Uh, vamos deixar as botas. E beleza. Vamos poder andar já. Vamos salvar a atriz lá. Opa, tem um baú aqui, hein? É, tem porra nenhuma no baú. Né? E aí, Rigata? Cheguei pra te salvar, mano. Geralt? Não esperava que me veja. Você está brincando? A única pessoa que você espera ver em uma dungeon guardiã de Ilfgaardian é a execução. Eles te torturam? Eles tentaram várias coisas. Mas eles não tiveram nada de mim. Eu travo todo o mundo para te encontrar. Eu sei que é difícil. I'll never forget this, you hear? Never. Couldn't you ask your friends from the lodge for help? I just do. Listen, Triss. There's a lot happening in Lockerbie, and it's all happening fast. The fact that I'm here means I'm not helping your people, and I abandoned Saskia. You chose me. In some sense, yes. I fought my way through the Nilfgaardian camp to learn why you lied to me. That's not true. I know about the Lodge. I know the Lodge was behind Demavent's assassination. I know Triss Marigold is a member of the Lodge. It's not like that. Show me the error in my reasoning. True. I'm a member of the Lodge. Just like eight other sorceresses. But if you think I'm responsible for the Lodge's actions, you're badly mistaken. The Lodge is a theater for two actresses, Sheila and Milica, long dominated. To the point where you didn't know about the murder they planned? To the point where I was no longer invited to gatherings. Why? They stopped trusting me. Because you didn't agree with them? Nine women very rarely agree on anything. The actual problem was that... <sighs> Tell me. I was close to you. If Sheila fears anyone, it's Geralt of Rivia. The Lodge did everything to convince me that our relationship didn't bother them. Even that it suited them. But they manipulated me. Through me, they fed you select information. <coughs> Depending on the circumstances, they twisted facts. We're still close. They could still be doing it. Don't insult me. Calm down, Triss. 
Reynold F. Matson claimed otherwise. I'll always take your word over that of some Nilfgaardian lowlifes. Now, you'll tell me everything you know. I need to learn the truth. All existing councils of mages disintegrated after the Thanid massacre. We all acted separately. Philippa decided to create a new organization, a secret one this time. When I was sworn in, it never crossed my mind that the Lodge's plans would soon become secret to its members. As you know, Philip is not one for minor undertakings. She presented a plan for creating a powerful state controlled by sorceresses. The best laid schemes of mages and men. Philippa and Sheila never lacked ideas or enthusiasm. To control a powerful state, they needed to create one first. Or find a wealthy land with a suitable political arrangement and an easily manipulated room. Sheila chose the Pontar Valley, Demavend, and Stennis. Demavend hated mages. No more than Hensel or Radovid. Sheila and Philip saw Demavend as the weakest ruler. His son, Stennis, was hot and cold. Plus, he who controls the Pontar Valley controls the moon. So it was an editor of the Pontar At one of our meetings, I just asked how they imagine overthrowing Demavend. That was the last time I was invited. After Demavend's death, I became suspicious but had no evidence. Philippa brushed me off. When you went off to meet Yorved and Sheila was busy with the Karen's carcass, I managed to scan parts of her megascope. That's when I learned that Sheila had dealings with Letho. Why didn't you tell me? I wanted to. We never met after that. Letho must have shadowed me when I entered Sheila's room. Then he forced me to teleport us to somewhere near Vergen. Did you talk to him? He wasn't aggressive. In Vergen, he told me that Sheila commissioned them to assassinate Demavend. Them being the witchers of the school of the Viper. Sheila helped them prepare the assassination. I wonder why he told you about it. Is that important? Conspirators who suddenly divulge everything. I'd be suspicious. There was some interference as we teleported to Eddard. I emerged intact, pretty battered. I met the troll who fell in love with you. He saved me, tended to my wounds. But when he started treating me like a caged canary, I fled. I knew Philippa was in the area. I decided to go see her and lay my cards on the table. Maybe Letho wanted just that. I met a woman at Philippa's house. Thought she was just a servant or Philippa's lover. Before I could speak, I was overpowered by spells. I hardly expected an attack. The pain I felt as my body was compressed, it's indescribable. As if all my bones were being broken. It's even worse when you return to your true form. In any case, Philippa had no idea her lover was an elf guardian spy. I was carried as that figurine all the way to Loch Main. Asira decompressed me back just before they murdered her. Shillard interrogated me, but learned nothing. If it wasn't for you, they'd have had me. I didn't piece the puzzle together until I was here, in the dungeon. Now you know everything. Did Saskia know the Lodge's plans? She didn't even know the Lodge existed. Philippa told me that the sorceresses would support an independent state in the Pontar Valley, no strings attached. Saskia backed Philippa, and the people backed Saskia. Philippa controlled Saskia with her spells. Figures. The woman's a control freak. She miscalculated by coming to Loch Muin. Radovid had her imprisoned and then blinded. That's impossible. I was there. Who had Foltest assassinated? I have no idea. Perhaps after Demavend's successful assassination, Sheila and Philippa decided to take the next step. That would be stupid. Killing Demavend was a way to take control of the Pontar Valley. People would forget the regicide in a year, and the Lodge could put its plan in motion. They had to know that if Foltest died, men like Roach wouldn't rest until they learned why that had happened. One thing is certain. Letho killed Foltest, and Sheila was working with Letho. What Sheila was actually doing in Flotsam. I find it hard to believe she went there just to kill a monster and earn a few horns. You're right, of course. It had something to do with Letho and the Scoyatel. What did she want from Yorvin? The Scoyatel were Saskia's trump card. I expect Sheila needed to know what the elves would do given that a war with Hensel was practically inevitable. 
That'll have to do for now. We'll learn more in the talks. You're going to attend? You have no memory of how the world worked before the Thanet Massacre. Actually, I know exactly how it worked. That means... We'll talk about my memory later. All right. If the Council and Conclave still existed, kings wouldn't be assassinated and massacres would be less frequent. This is our chance to restore these institutions, and we shouldn't miss it. Normalizing relations between the rulers and the mages who advise them is our only chance for peace. And our only chance to dismantle the Lodge. The Lodge will disintegrate anyway. Once the Kings learn it was behind the assassinations, they'll start a witch hunt. We can prevent that from happening. I'm all for punishing the guilty, but can't abide collective responsibility. I'm ready to go and reveal everything I know about Philippa Isleheart, Sheila de Tanserville, and their schemes. Let's go then. Ok, galera, descobrimos muita coisa aí da, com a Tris. Agora a gente vai ter que tirar a Tris daqui e ir para outro canto. Acho que é para ir para cá. Não, não é para cá, seu idiota. Opa, tem um baú aqui. Só isso, mano. Aqui, tem uma porta aqui, mano. É essa porta que eu queria. Não, seu idiota, eu quero abrir a porta. Pronto. We shouldn't arrive at the same time. Let's split up. Ok, temos três talentos para gastar aqui, galera. Vamos dar uma olhada aqui. Tô pensando em já vir aqui até o último, mano. Não quero nem saber. Beleza. Adrenalina. Isso aqui, vitalidade, redução de dano. Beleza, vamos dar uma olhada depois disso daí. Uh, sou Sword Master, ganhei a conquista por conseguir até o final dela, né? Uh, tem muito tempo ainda, vamos lá pro anfiteatro falar com a atriz. Renounce magic, I tell you! Vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos lá, vamos lá. In a hurry to see the deliberations. Here on urgent business. Your dress seems to confirm it. Excuse you indeed. I suppose I couldn't much care. I've heard what I came to hear. And what, pray tell, was that? The rightful heir will ascend to the Adernian throne. There will be peace in the land. What more could one want? Stennis is here? King Stennis. Crowned two days past in Vengerberg. Merely send a messenger here. All those present promptly agreed that he will make a good ruler. Meu Deus, Stennis é aquele cara. Que os caras queriam matar lá no... Stennis. A poisoner coward and schemer. Não, não é não. He trembled with disgust when he spoke to the peasants. Disdain flowed from him like vomit. But he didn't deserve to be lynched. That was not the justice Saskia fought for. Prince Stennis I, son of Demavend III, became the 17th King of Edirne. He won the hearts of the people. They saw him as the hope of the nation. The realm, ravaged by war, needed a ruler sensitive to the plight of his subjects. King Stennis I was just that. Good that you're here. We don't have much time. Seems like we never do. First we have to get by the guards. Leave that to me. Be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> Vamos lá, galera. 
Eu sinto que estamos chegando ao fim do jogo. Provavelmente esse é o próximo episódio pode ser o último. The King Slayer, get it! Ei, peguei a espada errada ainda, mano. Plau! Plau! Might have tried to reason with them. Easier this way, trust me. Path's clear. Can we go? Eu vamos lá. Everything will be revealed at last. Whether you like it or not, John Natalis, Tamaria will be divided. For the good of the entire North. The united forces of Kedwin and Redania will end the fighting among the Elder Houses and secure peace from Gorsvelen to Elendor. At present, Tamaria is starting to resemble the Pontar Valley. Which, if I understand correctly, is currently controlled by Eder. You are mistaken, Radovid. Vergen is free. Free? What precisely does that mean? Lormark is not Kedwin's, and Eder no longer controls Upper Eden. We have rejected Prince Stennis. King Stennis? And handed King Hensel's army a resounding defeat. Your forces, my dear lass, are nothing but a motley array of rebellious peasants and elven brigands. Sooner or later, they will need to swear allegiance to someone, or they will be defeated and dispersed. The peoples of the Pontar Valley will swear allegiance to me, Queen Saskia. As an independent realm, we hereby speak in favor of reconstituting the Council and Conclave. You're a lovely girl, but you issue from common stock. The sole crown you are worthy of donning is a wreath woven of wildflowers. Redania will recognize no other coronation. In that case, you must choose King Radovid. Will you carve up Temeria, or march on the Pontar Valley? Henselt, last of the line of the unicorns, has sworn to recognize the Pontar Valley as a free realm. Philippa Eilhart witnessed it. Uh, uh, uh. Philippa Eilhart is in my dungeon, awaiting trial for treason. She was in your dungeon, Radovid, but is no longer. She will sit at my side in Bergen as my royal advisor. Chegamos, galera. Vamos destruir tudo. Vamos matar tudo, mano. To the matter at hand. The document describing the charter of the council and the conclave is, as previously ascertained, an exact copy of the charter found in the ruins on Thanet Island. The more important question relates to the conclave and its power to designate royal advisors. Today, randomly chosen majors and sorceresses reside at many courts. However, in the time of the previous conclave, such persons were carefully chosen. Why shouldn't we pick our own advisors? These individuals bear great responsibility, Your Majesty. The conclave needs to be certain they are competent. And that they will keep the conclave's interests in mind. Obviously, sire. The Conclave's chief interest is the well-being and prosperity of the Northern Kingdoms. The document has been signed by every member of the Conclave we have proposed, as well as by all but one of the designated advisors. We await only Sheila de Tanserville's signature. Without our royal seals, you should be allowed to designate advisors to Cowherd at most. That is true, Your Majesty. Sheila de Tanserville should never be allowed to sign this document. Triss Merigold, you decided to join us after all. De Tanserville has royal blood on her hands. She can't sit on the Conclave. That is a lie. Have you anything to support these claims, Merigold? There are witnesses who will confirm that Sheila de Tanserville was behind the assassinations of Demavend and Foltest. Officials of the future Council and Conclave. Sheila de Tanzerville should be arrested and tried. If Triss Merigold speaks the truth, Lady de Tanzerville will be condemned to death. Eita nós, que isso? Sheila de Tanzerville, 
Until Tris Marigold's charges are dismissed or refuted, we cannot sit on the conclave. Arrest her. You don't know the whole truth. Marigold doesn't know what she's talking about. Ish. Acho que esse episódio vai ficar um pouco grande ou não? Bom, vamos fazer o seguinte, Operação Dragão, a gente tem que derrotar o dragão, provavelmente é a Sasuke. Esse episódio vai ficar pro próximo, é, esse vídeo vai ficar pro próximo episódio, que provavelmente pode ser até o último vídeo aí da série, talvez, não sei. Então é isso, galera, muito obrigado por vocês terem assistido, se inscreve no canal se você não é inscrito e fui!